The Harsh Truth About Love and Joy From Blade Runner 2049 There is a simple yet clever narrative about these two characters. Joy, an AI hologram waifu, and Love, a replicant android. Both created by the same narcissistic mind of Neander Wallace, yet play opposing pivotal roles to the main character and his story. K, the replicant Blade Runner, played by Ryan Gosling, an artificial man, an android, who is all about his job. I call myself Replicant Fish. What is a replicant, you ask? A replicant is a fictional bioengineered android in the 1982 film Blade Runner and its 2017 sequel, Blade Runner 2049. The Nexus series of replicants are virtually identical to adult humans, but have superior strength, speed, agility, resilience, and intelligence, to varying degrees depending on the model. A replicant can only be detected by means of the fictional Voigt-Kampf test, in which emotional responses are provoked and a replicant's non-verbal responses differ from those of a human. From Wikipedia. So now that the foundation has been set, let me explain the simple yet clever use of these characters. So Joy is the hologram girlfriend, an AI designed to keep company, but also to make the life of the owner much easier. She is very attractive and motivational. Yes, she was designed to be this way. Then you have Love, an android replicant, highly advanced, far more intelligent and dangerous than a hologram. She is designed to be a secretary, so has the elegance and charm to be so, but is also designed to be combat efficient. Now I find it quite amusing how Joy actually tries to help him, actually tries to make him feel comfortable, and even though she wasn't real, she was about to declare her love for Kay before Love, the replicant, destroys the Emanator, a device that allowed her to be taken outside of the apartment in hologram form. I thought to myself, how funny, how funny it is that Love crushed his joy. How now Love was here, it was all eyes on her, vicious yet elegant, and kind of sexy in a scary sort of way, wearing riding boots and kicking the crap out of men and women. Even down to the fact that Joy looks soft and feminine, with big eyes and voluptuous lips, played by Anna Diarmaz, indeed. In comparison to Love, played by Sylvia Hoex, who has sharper features, one could say a more masculine look to her. And it's how Joy is uplifting him, and Love is hunting him, trying to destroy him. I thought to myself while watching this recently, how poetic that joy was love and love was pain. Brief tangent, I made a video called The Harsh Truth About Forrest Gump. In that video I stated how Jenny, even with what happened to her in her growing up life with her father and whatnot, I stated how she did Forrest dirty. She did him wrong in other words. Jenny was played by Robin Wright, who plays Lieutenant Hoshi in Blade Runner. Kay's boss, who in one of my favourite scenes of Blade Runner 2049, tries to sleep with Kay. Now he responds to Lieutenant Hershey, played by Robin Wright, who played Jenny in Forrest Gump. He responds by saying, we should be working, in responding to her saying, so what happens when I finish this bottle? She said in a very seductive way. So yes, in a very childish and immature sense, I thought, ha. Huh, Nobody wants you, Jenny. Even a replicant would prefer sleeping with a hologram over you. You're not that young and hot anymore. <laughs> to summarize, what is your love and joy? Are movies like this pushing an agenda of artificial affection for artificial life? How many men listening to this video would actually prefer a hologram or a hot replicant woman instead of a real one? How many men would prefer that? But on the other hand, many single men who suffer in loneliness may actually get something no real woman would willingly give them. Is that the bittersweet truth? The harsh fact of reality? Is it better that a man be alone and live with it? Or should he at least have the opportunity not to be? However you see this, the harsh truth is that sometimes relationships can be all joy with no love, or love with no joy. Some have both, many wish for just one. But what do you think about the film, about the topic, about these two characters? To joy and love, whatever they mean to you. To the future, 
Be it bright or sci-fi noir, like Blade Runner or Cyberpunk 2077, the car in my videos. To us as men, be it a real chick, an android or a digital one, or none at all, we know what we dream of, but we understand not to be the sheep having those dreams. To us as men, to focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.